what is up YouTube, Dave with KickFam back with yet another video for your viewing pleasures and today if you came here for a tech video, you came here for the right thing. If you came here for what the title of the video is, you came here for the right thing. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, hit the thumbs up to let us know you like what we're putting out. And as always, hit the bell to be notified when we upload. So this video starts basically a month ago i wish i would have started recording a month ago because back on october 9th i went on i went on to my comcast xfinity app to pay my bill and i should have known because every month before that for the last however many years i should have known that the bill was going to be different than what my contract agreement was this time I was fed up. I was done. I went on. The bill was $170 more than my agreed upon contract. So I told Xfinity Comcast to shove it, basically. I'm not going to say that their product is bad because I enjoyed their product, but their billing... And their customer service, everything else but their product sucks. Sucks. Whenever you got a problem, like with a billing problem or any other other issue, you call, you get sent overseas. And what they don't understand is the people overseas have a totally different banking system than us. So they don't understand what we are trying to explain them. So I understand that they're doing their job. Their job is to just get the bill paid. Whatever the amount on the computer is, that's their job. But when you've been a customer with a, with a company for 23 years, and the first thing they say when they pick up the phone is, oh, I see you've been a customer for 23 years. We, we appreciate your loyalty. When they say that, they should mean it, and they don't. So that is my issue with Comcast. So I'm going to pull this box out, and you're going to see a bunch of different stuff. Basically all Comcast stuff. So this is all Comcast. This is their internet router, their cable boxes. Everything in here is Comcast. Going back to them because I'm done with them. Here's the best part of the video that I want to update you guys on. After Comcast, we went and got a little thing called... The T-Mobile internet. Here's probably what you want to know about T-Mobile. Yes, the pricing is great. $50 a month for internet? Perfect. Awesome. Beautiful little internet tower. I'm going to pull it out here. I'm going to show you their, their, their little internet tower thing. Beautiful little internet tower. It's amazing. I like the, I like their tower. I, 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 like, the, I like the bill. But that's what it is right there. Oh, this is their this is their internet tower right here. It comes up. I'll, I'll even show you it. I'll even sh I'll, I'll plug it in. I'll show you everything that this little tower has to offer you. Just hold on. Let me grab the plug. Babe, the plug's in here, right? Huh? So here's the plug for the internet tower. Plug. And also, it's very easy to set up. So when you go to the store, you order it, right? They give you this. They basically put a little SIM card in it. And all you got to do is go back home and plug it in. So you plug this little plug right here. It's a USB plug. You plug that in right there. Boom. And then you plug this in. Uh, you plug this into an outlet. It's just a regular old outlet. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna plug it into an outlet right now. I'll plug it in over here. Now, when you look at the instructions, the instruction says the best place to plug this in, and in your house, is on the second floor by a window. I did that. I plugged it in. And put it in every single window in my house. Alright, so it's powering up right here. Look, it's powering up. 
Oh, let me dismiss this real fast. So as you can see, it says, when I first plugged it in, I don't know if you saw it, it said your connection was very good. And now it just bounced down to weak. Oh, it's back up to good. So there you go. See? I mean, you bounce it over here. It tells you devices, how many's connected. We have zero connected because I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. That's our internet line phone number. I mean, if you want to call it, go ahead because it's about to be disconnected. <laughs> uh, we have three messages. Language, blah, blah, blah. But this is my issue. See, now it's back down the week. So now I'm going to go to my cell phone. I'm going to go to my cell phone and I'm going to show you this. Ready? I'm going to show you something on my cell phone. They have an app. Oh, look, look, look. Ready? It's back to being good. <laughs> so they have a... You know, my cell phone is cracked, so they have an app, so if you hit the app, boom, right, you hit the app, it's going to come up, it will sign you in. Give me a second, it's signing in. Oh, wait, wait, you know what, I'm going to have to disconnect from the Verizon one and connect to the other one, to the T-Mobile one. Give me a second. So now, look, if you connect them, connect them to the T-Mobile one. All right, it's connected. So now, look, now that my phone's connected, watch. When you go over, it will show you there's one device connected to the Internet, right? And now it's back to week. Now the app is great because... The app is good because if you go on, look, it tells you everything about it right there, right? So now... Look, it even tells you that it's weak. So if you go over to more, right, and then you could restart. You could restart your uh, gateway, which is, I guess, the modem. Um, what else? You can network. Tells you your network device. Tells you what devices are logged on. Go back to home. So let me see. I, that here is more about connection. Close. So now it's back to good again. I mean, as you can see, it just goes back from weak to good, from weak to good. In my house, I can never get it up to the highest bar, which is great. And at certain parts of the day, it doesn't work at all. It's amazing. It go like it doesn't work at all. Now, if you're trying to stream, like my TV streams, you're trying to do all that because you don't want the you don't want cable services because the bills so much. T-Mobile internet is not good for that because if you're it, it cuts out constantly. Now, I'm not saying it's not good for everybody. I'm saying it's not good for me here in my part of Philadelphia. That's why I'm saying when you go to the store, make sure that you. Ask the person that is helping you at the store how the service is in that area. They can check because if you go on their app, right, and go into uh, go into support. I haven't did this in a while. Let me see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, if you go into what is it more, right? Oh, where is it? I wouldn't be worried if it wasn't for the fact that we have a fucking basketball tournament. There you go. Come on, where is it? Trying to remember where the. You guys should see your face right now. You look so stupid. Um, if you get shut out. Look, ready. So you go when you go into the app, right? You hit more connection qualities, which is right here. Right now, it's back up to good. Right, so you hit that. Boom. Placement. Assignment assistant. Boom, right? Now you can pick. You just hit, okay, let's do it. Now you can skip video, right? And you can either share your location or enter your address. I'm going to enter my address right here, right? Or actually, you know what? I'm just going to share my location. 
I'll share my location. Your location, your All right, so you do that, right? Now, a little map comes up, right? And it shows you, like, I'm here. This little blue dot right here. This little blue dot right there is where I'm at. So I'm guessing down here, down here where the red is, I'm guessing that's where the service is coming from, where their tower is at. And that's at the back of my house. Now I'm gonna take, now, now if you go into, if you hit camera, all right? Now it tells you on the phone, move, right? It tells you turn right. So I'm turning right, right? Turn left, right? This is my house. So see where that is? See that little, those little bars? That's where it's supposed to be the strongest. Now I'll walk towards it, right? This spot looks looks like a good spot. Where am I putting that? In the middle of my house? In my like it's amazing. But watch. Watch. As I go, as I walk, looks like a good spot. 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 Looks like a good spot, right? Ready? Looks like a good spot. All the way into my kitchen. Looks like a good spot. Oh, let me turn left. Looks like a good spot. All right. Now, I have put it in that window. I've put it in that window. And I've put it in this window. All right. Oh, let's tell me to turn left. So, basically, I'll show you. I'll put it out here. Ready? Give me a minute. I'll put it out here and I'll show you how good the service is out here. All right. So look, I put it on by that window where it's telling me. Now it's telling me to put it there, right? It's telling me, look at my phone. See, it's telling me to put it there. So I put it there. It's been in this window before. It's powering up. Powering up. Now you would think the service here would get me to the top bar that I need to be at. Which, if you look at it, right? If you look at the bars on here, it's powering up still. Give me a second. And look, I mean, look how long it takes to power up, too. This is crazy. Oh, there you go. Ready? So now it's, as I just plugged it in, it's at very good, right? So, it never gets to the top bar. And then, watch, when it sits here, after it sits here for a little bit, it will... As it sits here for a little bit, it will go back down to good, weak, or actually, you know what, it might even, oh, there it goes, it went back, it went down to good, see, there you go. So it didn't even stay at very good for a, while, for a while, and it never reaches the top bar at all. Now, in my house, ready, I'm going to say, so in my, so it never gets up to, if you look, it says excellent there. It never, ever has it gotten up to excellent in my house? So that's why I'm saying, if you go and get this T-Mobile internet, make sure you check with the customer service rep that's selling this to you, that your house, because they got to give it to you based on your address, that your house is in the strongest area where T-Mobile service will reach. Because in my house, I mean, you figure... At the one point when I only had this, because I'm going to show you what I switched to next. At the one when I only had this service after I canceled Comcast, I had up to ten devices hooked up to it, and literally, we were fighting for internet in this house between the between the four between the five of us that live in this house. We were fighting for internet in this house. So because of that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel my T-Mobile internet service, which got me about a month. So, and I only paid $50. Like I said, I paid $50 for the tailor because they weren't offering any deals for it. And then I paid $50 for the, the, um, month, the monthly service, which wasn't too bad. Cause I'll keep the tailor and I'm going to keep the tailor because as you know, if you watch the channel, if you're an OG, we have a place down by Wildwood and 
the internet down at our campground just sucks. So maybe, maybe I could use this down there. And I mean, even if it's weak internet down there, it's better than the internet that they have. So we'll see if we can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Keep the tower because the next thing I show you is where it's at. And I'm telling you it's where it's at because I've had it for about a month, about a half a month now. I've never had any issues. And I want to tell you what I paid for it. So let me go ahead and get in there and I'll show you what internet service we switch to next. So back in my living room. If you see my computer, my computer's set up here. If you look back here, this is our new internet right here. Now, if you have this service, you probably recognize it. It's actually Verizon. I, I was never a fan of Verizon, never wanted Verizon. I wanted to stay with Comcast because I'm a big Philly sports fanatic. And that's basically the only way you can watch Philly sports. But I'm guessing it's starting to change now because I guess you can watch it more different, more ways as you stream. But I got the Verizon internet service and I got the top of the line Verizon service for $88 a month. Granted, it's $30 more than the T-Mobile service, but it's $200 less than the Comcast service that I had. 200 and plus it's less headaches because I'm locked into a contract and the $88 is all it can be for the next two years. So as of right now, I'm in love with the Verizon service. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had it disconnected. I haven't had any of the kids complain that they can't get Wi-Fi in the house. Now that's now this is at the front of the service is at the front of our, our house. We're in a Philly row home, so it reaches all the way to the back of it. But they do offer extenders. But yeah, that's extra that's extra a month for that. But just with the the router itself, it reaches our whole house. All the TVs work off of it. All the phones work off of it. And I have no issues with, with Verizon right now. I will keep you posted if I end up coming up with issues. So the moral of the story is Comcast, definitely not where it at where it's at. If you have Comcast or Xfinity, I'm telling you now, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Because they're just gonna change their bill whenever they want. Whenever they want. I mean, if if you if you if you see otherwise, comment down below and let me know. But I mean, like I, every month that I went to go pay my Comcast bill, it's just been different. And I even tried to get a new. I even signed a new two-year deal with them and to lock in my pricing, and it was still different. And I did that two months ago, and every month since then, it, the pricing's been different. Um. And I would call and argue with it, and they would give me, oh, okay, well, this, 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 this. They would give me every excuse in the book, and then they would credit my account. But then the next month, those credits would be gone, and whatever they credit my account for the prior month, they would just add it to the next month, and, and it would be, it was like they were adding $25 to my bill every month for like the last year. It was just crazy. So I'm telling you, it, Comcast is not where it's at. Get rid of it. If you if you can tell me otherwise, comment them below. T-Mobile, unless you have a strong phone, if you have T-Mobile phone service already and your service, your phone service is strong at your house, I would say stay away from the T-Mobile service. Um, especially if you live in the area that I live in in Philadelphia, the service. I even have T-Mobile cell phone and. My service to my T-Mobile cell phone sucks, but I'm keeping it because I've had it. I've had this number since I was 16. I've had it since it was Nextel, then Sprint, now T-Mobile. And my bill is basically grandfathered in, and it's really cheap. So I'd rather pay what I'm paying on my cell phone bill now than changing it to like Verizon or something and, and, get, and paying almost triple. So I keep the cell phone service because... I can use wireless. I could use the, uh, I guess the wireless cell, cell, cell tower. I, like when I'm in my house, I use Wi-Fi to call anyway and text. So, um, but I'm telling you, if you don't, you you gotta ask T-Mobile if you're gonna buy it. How strong is the service at your house? They can check. I could check for my app, so I know they can check. They gotta be able to tell you where the service, if the service is strong at your house. 
Um, don't let them say, oh, their big sales point is, oh, well, you know what? We might have too many tailors in your area, but we can use a different address to give it to you. Don't do it. Say no. Say no right away because that's what I did. They, they let me use a different address so they could sell it to me knowing that the service was weak in the area. And they just basically lied to me and say, no, no, it will work. It's going to be great. It will work. They lied to get the sale. So don't let them do that to you. Um, I'm new to Verizon, so I'm going to say it's been the best thing that I, I've had recently. I'll update you later and let you know if anything changes. So I'm a Verizon fan right now, but that may change. That may change. I just started this whole streaming thing. I wasn't a fan of streaming. I wanted to stay connected with Comcast. Um, so I'm a whole I'm I'm all new to this. So I'll update you on that. But I'm saying Comcast is definitely not where it at where it's at. T Mobile, get it if the service is strong by you. If not, stay away from it and they can tell you before you buy it. This is Dave with Kick Fam. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.